Hello and welcome to tutorial number 21. Uh, today we'll be discussing how Community Builder 2.0 integrates with the UDDIM private messaging extension. There's built-in integration, but we still need an, to install this uh, third-party extension. So I've, I've already downloaded it, so all I have to do is install it. Extension Manager, Upload Package, choose file. Uh, UDDM has lots of goodies here. All, all I really need is the component. So that's all I'm going to install right now. Upload and install. Okay, there we go. After we install any Joomla component, the first thing we really should do is create a menu item. So in my user menu, I'll just add new menu item, call it UDDEIM private messaging select the menu type scroll to the end UDDIM select the component save and close if I go to front end now and refresh I should see in my user menu I should have seen it. <laughs> uh, fail, follower. Oh, okay. I have uh, I have another menu in the trash can that's actually a similar. So what I need to do is find the menu. I usually rehearse this, <laughs> and I didn't clean up the the actual trashed item. So let me just go ahead and select status. Find my trashed menus here. You see there's a UDDIM private messaging at the end. Let me just kill all of these. Empty trash. Now if I go and create the user menu, everything should be okay. So scroll down, select it again, call it UDDIM private messaging, save it and close. No problem, it's successful now, okay? So if I go now to the front end and refresh, I see UDIM Pride Messaging. If I click on that, I see the messages that are waiting for me. You should only see one, the last one. Uh, I'm seeing three because I did three installs, so the database kept on adding messages. So you can just ignore this. So that's the first step. I have UDIM, but it's not integrated yet into Community Builder. And how do we see that? Uh, let's just visit somebody's profile, the way things are right now. And we'll see messages. The only thing I could do is send an email to the user. The reason, I mean, it went, if I configure Community Builder correctly, I will be able to send a private message from this dropdown also. So let's see how to do that. First thing you want to do is go to the back end, Community Builder, Plugin Management, and see there's a private messaging plugin here that's not published. Let me publish that and check out its parameters. Global parameters, see there's the first, I just need the first one to select the UDDIM 1.0 and 2.0 or better. And save and close that. If I go now to the front page and do a refresh on this person's profile, I see UDDIM has been picked up and I can actually just send them a private message from here. Hello. And send it. Great. Now, it's one thing I did. The second thing I want to do, look at if you look at the the login module here. Uh, I would basically like to see if there are any private messages waiting for me right after I log in. Uh, the CB login module actually has such a setting. So if I find my login module here and I look in the logout options, basically the options that are available along with the logout button and there's quite a few things here. I scroll down and I find here where it says private message notifications. 
I don't want hide. I want show always. And private message icon, set that to show also. So if I save and close now and go and refresh my front page, I will see right under the logout button, there's a nice link with an envelope telling me I have two private messages that I haven't read. If I click on that, I see my inbox. Okay, so that's one another thing we did. Uh, there are two more items that we can configure here. One is in the Community Builder configuration area. If I go to my Connections tab here, the notification method currently is set to none. I can set it to email, PMS, or both. So I'm selecting both. Now that I've installed uh, UDDIM and configured it, I want notifications from the Connections feature of Community Builder to be sent both by email and by private message. So let's save that. Great. Uh, let's go and test this out. Let's go to the front end and go to this person's profile. And it says here you have no established connection with this user. So I just click the request connection here. A little pop-up comes up. I can send a message. Hello. Let's connect. And click request connection. And I see that here, that's pending, pending acceptance. So let me go ahead and log out from the admin user and log in as the user that has this pending connection now. And if I, I see here, I have private message here. And the first one says basically, you have a pending connection. And you can see the pending connections here now. This is one thing we forgot to take care of here. UDDIM is not showing this as a link. And that's because we haven't configured it. So let's just go back. Components, UDDIM, PMS. It's basically just one setting. In the first tab, in the Messages tab, allow BB code tags. It's set fonts format only. Let's just select here to yes and save. Now if I go to the front end and actually refresh this message, UDDIM has kicked in properly and basically has configured the admin link. I can see which person actually uh, sent this invitation. And I can go right away and manage my connections by clicking on the Manage Connections link. If I click on this, I go to my Manage Connections area where I see there's a pending, a pending message, uh, a pending connection basically. And I see the pop-up actually gives me the, the hello, let's connect message that the user typed in when they first sent the invitation. So let's just keep that. Yes, it's checked by default. Update. So now if we go back to our profile, we'll see the connections tab here that I'm connected to admin. Great. So that's it basically for, oh, there's one more, sorry, one more thing. <laughs> uh, if I go to Community Builder tab management, there's something called quick message. That's currently, it's also part of the private message plugin. That's currently unpublished. Let me just publish that. Basically what this means, if I go and visit somebody's profile here, anybody, and there's a quick message link here that I can just quickly send a message. I don't need to go from the drop down. I can just go from here. And of course, right now this tab is published in the canvas nested menu position. I could publish it somewhere else that it'll appear directly when visiting somebody's profile page. Okay, so let's just recap. Uh, we installed UDDIM, we configured the plugin, 
uh, pub, uh, configured the plugin, published it, configured the CB login module to show the uh, link here underneath. We configured the connections notifications in the CB configuration page to also send notifications with PMS. Uh, I think that covers everything. Oh, and we also changed the UDDIM uh, BB code to yes. So it'll transform any links properly and show them as links instead of code. Thanks for listening. Next tutorial will probably be the Community Builder Kunena forum integration steps. That's all for now. Bye-bye.